So I've come up to Exmoor today. I'm going to do a bit of a circular walk. So I've started by kind of just north of Lanarka Bridge. I'm going to follow two more ways to Simmons Bath. Walk through Simmons Bath and through Birkham Common, I think it's called, or an area called Birkham. Uh, back up to Blue Gate, then walk back to the Two Moors Way and end up back here. Okay, so the Red Deer. I imagine, well, I thought that that had finished because we're sort of entering, well, we're well into November now. But I'm pretty sure I've just heard a Red Deer bellowing probably about a mile and a half away to my to my left so yeah I'll keep my eyes peeled sorry I was just filming that buzzard I'm pretty sure I've heard another red deer bellow um, the other side of the valley over there somewhere okay I'm going to do this walk in reverse because I'm definitely hearing red deer I think there's a couple of them so the rut's potentially still going on um, which is you know it's not unquestionable but yeah it's uh, the other side of the valley so um, I was going to come back that way but I'm going to loop that way now instead see if we can uh, see anything and it's getting action <laughs> <laughs> so I'm about to head out the coom. I'm keeping my voice down because I think if this deer or deers are still here, then they can be around here somewhere. Let's see what happens. Yeah, here we go. So that's a well used path. I can see where the deer have been. There's no clear prints, but I can see where they've been scraping, you know, trying to get some grip on this good terrain. And they're going up the other side of this hill here. So I might be out of luck, but I'm going to keep walking up here anyway. Let's see if any pop out. Okay, ahead, I heard two big bellows. Under a mile, half a mile. So I'm going to get my main camera out and uh, I think there's a few of them around. This path's quite well used so hopefully they've not been scared off. Hear that? Right, on we go. Okay. There we go. So it's not a stag. Although you can hear the stag, that's a hind. There's two there. I haven't got my tripod, apologies. There we go. So he's the one who makes all the noise. Beautiful. No, there's another one up there. That wasn't him making that noise. Oh, there we go. Oh, are we going to have a standoff? And that's a third to my left. There's a hind. Look at those two hinds pop their heads up. Oh. No, that's a hind. What is that other stag? Lovely. Oh yeah. You know for that hind.
So all those hinds up there, I mean it's just a few of what we can see, I reckon the others are the other side of the trees and the hill. That's what the stags are fighting over. All that bellowing is uh, working out who's the toughest so they can have their uh, their way with the hinds, so we say. But yeah, well, quite a nice view. I know it's in the distance, but it's, it's nice to see. It's brilliant. And uh, yeah, I'm going to stay here for a little while. My walk might be cut short. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've just heard a gunshot to my right. I hope they're not going after this third uh, deer. Right, that's gunshots going off. could spoil it. I hope it does because they're after the deer. I'd rather them go. That's pretty close isn't it. I think they're after birds rather than deer. It's still not really the point but That's it, go away. Oh. So a stag, an older one. Come on guys, move off. Yeah, look at that. All the hinds have got up now. As I say, I'd rather them move off and hang around if they're in danger. So I think this stag, I mean in fairness to get its uh, antlers, you wouldn't, be, you wouldn't want to be pierced by one of those, would you? And uh, go through these trees, you can see, you can just make out some hinds. And there's another stag there. I kind of think they're keeping a healthy distance, but uh, that's got potential to kick off, I suppose. Oh. Wow, nice. So I think those two stags are filmed earlier, either side of these hinds. I think they're actually dueling it out the other side of these trees and it's just quite amusing because the hinds are just uh, they're not care in the world <laughs> while the stags are fighting it out for their uh, for their allegiance So some of that stag's points have got a uh, turf on the tip, so I wonder if they were engaging. Interesting. Okay, so my walk's been cut massively short because of this um, herd of red deer. I spent a couple of, a couple of hours here watching them. And it's been quite educational for me personally, actually, the way they've been moving around. Um, not at all sure how the 
images are going to come out probably my normal poor standard <laughs> but no it's actually getting a bit colder now and um they've quietened down a battery on my camera is getting low as well so i've decided to move away but that's been a really enjoyable morning for me really good anyway um head back to the car now and uh yeah that's been ideal so i was heading back to the car and then i spotted something which uh, i just wanted to investigate i'm glad i did so um i was walking along the path there and looked up to the, the, this uh hill here and you can see it better from the path but look at this track coming down and it zigzags up you can really see it well from the other side but look at it and um this is a heavily used red deer path um so much so you can see the odd print but not many where it's turned over so much but then if you go on down here i mean this is probably a small example really but uh you get to this tree here and that's probably like to, uh, mud they wallow in or dip their antlers in because they do like a bit they like a bit of a mud bath and that tree i don't know if i can see any um let's have a little closer look No, I can't, I can't see any fur, to be honest. But yeah, they probably use this to brush up against. I mean, you've got, you've got mud there, so they've probably been brushing up against that. And yeah, then across the stream, and I imagine then uh, up onto the rutting stands. But yeah, that's uh, quite an impressive uh, deer line. <laughs> 